Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about BSPWM. Now this is going to be one of those videos where I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I hope that somewhere along the line, both you and I learn something. Uh, what I want, my goal for today is to install BSPWM from scratch on an Arch-based system. This is Arco Linux is what I'm going to be doing it on, uh, but it should work on Arch or any of the Arch distros. And go through a minimal setup where I get a bar and set a wallpaper and that kind of stuff. Now, whether or not I'll be successful at all in any of this stuff, as per usual, I don't know. Uh, I'm not above admitting that I'm winging it. <laughs> and I am winging it. I've done a little bit of research and I think I can do this fairly easily. What the outcome will be, we're going to find out. So let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so right now I'm in DWM, which is my main daily driver thing. The question whether or not I want to build this from scratch or if I want to go through and install it from the Arch repositories is a pretty easy question because I think I'm just going to install it from the Arch repositories and see what happens. The building of it, I'm not sure how it would work because I'm not sure... The instructions for BSPWM and actually installing it are non-existent. I think there's actually an install.md file here somewhere. Maybe I'm wrong. If you're using Arch Linux, install bspm-git from the AUR or the latest version, or BSPWM for the stable version. I have SXHKD installed already. Oh, it does actually have full-on from scratch. Hmm. Okay. I don't need SXHKD. Hmm. Well, you want? Let's build this thing from scratch, shall we? <laughs> Why not? So let's uh go to a different tag here. Open up a terminal. Zoom in so we can see. Oh, I forgot I'm on this ST. There we go. Now we can zoom in. Clear. All right. So what it said to do was get, get our dependencies here. I don't know if I'll need actually need these, but we're going to try to install them anyways. All right. And then I, once again, can't type my own password. Uh, looks like they're all here. Good. We can clear out of that so we don't need those. Oops, wrong one. You've seen Audacity. The horror. Okay, so we need to... Um, just this first one here. Now, I'm going to try to do this in my Get Things, repos my get things repository. CD, Downloads, Get Things, Get Clone. Alright, CD, BSPWM, LS. Alright, so there's some stuff here. Now let's see if we can, we should be able to just sudo, if we just do make and then sudo make install, it should work, right? We're going to find out. So make, okay, that seemed to have made just fine. So sudo make install, and that did just fine as well. Okay, now let's go ahead and cd to the home directory, and then I'm going to cd into slash user, US, usr slash share slash x sessions. Now, according to this make thing, it actually made the bspwm.desktop, which is awesome. Oops. Uh, let's see here. It did not. Where did it put it? put it in local slash shared X sessions. So what I'm going to actually do is copy this into the right folder. So what I'm going to do is do cp sudo cp. I don't know why I need dash p, but I'm not going to do dash p. I don't think I need to do that. So slash, let's see, I think it's going to be tilde slash downloads get things bspwm contrib free desktop 
bspwm.desktop and then we're going to copy that into bspwm.desktop. Okay, so now if we do an ls, there should be a bspwm.desktop. And let me look, actually look and make sure that that's the thing that I need. So we're going to vim into bspwm.desktop. Yeah, that should work. All right, so this is where I'm going to pause the video, log out, and see if we log back in and see if it works. Um, hopefully. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to cd into dot config and see if there's a bspwm thing here. There's not. I wonder where it put the bspwm configuration files by default. Maybe it's in the home directory. Uh, nope. All right. So we're going to have, before we do that, because... I want to know where the BSPWM configuration files are. So let's go back here to this. Oh, here we go. So we want to make sure that we have. So if we cd into .config again, and do an ls, and uh, what I'm going to do is make directory. BSP WM CD BSP WM and make directory SXHKD. Okay, so we do an LS. Yeah, and we do CD dot dot just to get back into the configuration folder. And what we want to do here is this one here. And copy that okay and then we want to do oops this one here only we're going to need to change that location so because we want to make that bsp wm slash sxhkd okay and uh that's done there. And then it says we need to change the ownership. So we need to CD into BSPWM. Less. So it's CH own. I think that's what it said, right? Uh, CH mod U plus X. So we need to make it executable. That's because it's a bash script. I knew that. Mod U plus X BSPWM RC. Okay. Wonder why it's only doing it for the user. Well, I'm wondering if that's going to work or not, but we're going to find out. All right. So now I'm going to go through and uh, restart or log out of DWM and try to get back into BSPWM and see if it works. Now, if it works, there shouldn't be a wallpaper and there shouldn't be a bar, but we'll see. So I'm going to pause here and I'll come back in just a second. Okay. So you'll notice that I have a wallpaper, so I've actually been messing around with this now for about 20 minutes. I had to do it off camera. Well, I didn't do it off camera. I actually did it on camera, and then I mistyped something in the BSPWM RC file, and that crashes BSPWM, and I lost the files, so it was a whole mess. I'm having a good day. <laughs> so let me walk you through what I've done so far. So first thing I've done is I've CD'd into this file here, and then I've changed the BSPWM, BSPWM RC file to look for the SXHKD configuration file in the place where I've put it. So I've put it in slash BSPWM slash SXHKD slash SXHKD RC. That is... Um, so that I can have multiple SXHKD RC files on my system and point each window manager to a specific file. That way it's kind of cleaner. I think it's cleaner anyways, instead of having one gigantic file for all of them. Um, on camera, I also did nitrogen dash dash restore and that basically just sets my wallpaper. I wish I had, had been able to record all this stuff for you, but again, that's just the way things work sometimes. Just remember, Check your spelling before you hit save and hit the restart. Now, 
I've also gone through and vimmed into the SXHKD RC file and made some changes here. Okay, so what I've done in this is I've changed the ter terminal to termite. And I've changed this key binding to super plus D to get D menu. By default, it's super space. That's really weird. I've also gone through and changed um, the close command here to super Q. By default, it's super shift W, which is really odd. Um, so I should be able to hit super Q in this which is close. So those are the only two, the only things I've changed so far. So at this point, you have a working BSPWM thing, uh, window manager. It's working, but we need a bar of some kind. Now, whether this is going to be, you could use polybar, you could use bumblebee status, probably. I'm not really sure how you'd use bumblebee status because that, that re kind of relies on the whole syntax for i3. Um, I'm going to try out lemon bar, so we'll see if I can get that website back up. Okay, so I did manage to find it again. So I believe, unfortunately, this, again, well, we might have to look at the wiki and see if they have a way to install it here. So it has, um, keep in mind that lemon bar, formerly known as bar, is a lightweight bar entirely based on XCB. Therefore, you may have to install some libraries. Uh, I think I've already got both of those. So we're going to go ahead and open up terminal here, zoom in so you can see cd into our git folder, git things, and we're going to git clone this, okay, and we're going to cd into bar, because it used to be called bar, and then we're going to do make, sudo make install, Enter our password, hopefully correctly the first time. I did, and it made just fine. Okay, so we can close that. Now we need to actually know how to use it. So how do we put it in? So what if we went through, let's see here. What's the, apparently I didn't have a one here. So we'll just cd into bs.config, bspwm, and then vim into our bspwm, BD, I'm having a hard time talking, BSPWMRC. And what we wanna do here is do lemon bar and, I think. Before I close it, I'm gonna go find out and make sure I was right. Um, lemon bar, so options. The question is really gonna be, so this puts at the bottom, for stocking without asking the window manager, displays a font. So this is going to be a, fairly similar to Bumblebee status in that it's all configured within the startup script. Okay, so we're going to see if this works. This should just give us a regular bar. And so to restart BSPW, I'm super alt R. Okay, I have no bar. So I wonder if I just do this lemon bar. It says it started, but I don't see a bar. Does anybody else see a bar? No. So there has to be some other some other information we have to pass to that. Um, so let's see here. I wish they'd give you like an uh, Do they really want you to put the options in brackets? I'm going to try. I don't think that that's the way it works, though. All right, let's do, let's go through this. With by the height, so. Oops. With by height, so set the window geometry. If a parameter is omitted, it's filled by the default value. The Y parameter is specified along with the, the dash B switch, then the position is relative to the, to the bottom of the screen. So, this is very weird. 
Uh, Because by default, you don't actually get anything. I wish they had, would have some examples. I would love to see some examples of somebody else's using Lemon Bar. Let's go find out if we can find somebody else's examples. When in doubt, oh, the ArchWiki has installation. Let's zoom in here so people can see. Uh, let's see here. Installation, which we've installed. Configuration of Lemon Bar is now completely done via Screen RC. It v like format strings and comment line options, as opposed to older versions where configuration took place in at compile time. See the man page for short overview of those configuration options. So, Lemon Bar prints no information on its own. To get any text into Lemon Bar, you have to pipe text into it. If you want the text to update through a script, you need to add the dash P option. This prevents Lemon Bar from exiting after STDIN is closed. So this is kind of like X set root. Kinda. It doesn't show how to run it. Can you just... Oh, it's going to be here. ArchWiki, you're failing me. I don't know what screen RC means. I think it just means that it's passed through the command line. With options, yeah. Alright, somebody somebody will have it. Lemon Buddy. It aims to help users aims to help users build beautiful and highly customizable status bar on their desktop environment. Getting started. Okay, so this is just completely something completely different, okay? Well, this is definitely what we should be do doing right now, looking at these lemon bars. Oh, those look good. I have to go make those now. <laughs> Probably more successful than... Those still look good. Yeah. All right. Um, I think this one here will help. This guy's actually went through and written something, and this is what I was missing. So, um, what I think I can do now is look at these options and see how to do, like, right aligned stuff. Um... So this, so backslash aligns the following text to the left side of the screen. I wish it would give a, I wish it would give an example. This documentation is kind of trash. Because, first of all, all these are in italics. So that means that's like an L, not a slash. Their only example is this up here. And that's not even, a, that's not an example. Um, so we're going to have to, we're going to have to play around with it. So if we do he echo, hello world piped into lemon bar dash P, we actually do get a bar up here at the top. So winning. So if I wanted that to be on the right side, I wonder, so we'll see home and do what did it say capital R no it said small r lemon bar provides a screen RC inspired formatting syntax to allow full customization at runtime every formatting block is optioned with percent curly brackets enclosed by curly brackets and accept the following commands the parser tries its best to handle malformed input use okay so that's kind of like uh sl status so that's easy enough let's look down here it says um there was like a percent hmm. so like the the letter goes in
in the curly brackets. That doesn't make any sense, but we're going to try out. All right, so if we do percent curly bracket R, there's no way that that's true. Yeah, I didn't think that that would... So the R has to go outside of it. It has to. That didn't work either. Okay, so maybe per R percent. R percent sign. Nope, still don't work. Uh, Really weird. Okay, so go back and look at this again. This is scintillating television, I'm sure. Uh, percent curly bracket. So let's screw the R part and just do percent curly bracket. Let's just see what that works. That still doesn't work. Obviously, doing something really stupid wrong. Let me. Why can't you provide an example? Provide an example. It's all I'm asking. I'm about this close to saying screw it and using polybar because I know polybar works. Someone has to have an example other than this guy. This guy doesn't actually have a... Uh, let's see here. Column bar, auto start, etc. Okay, so this just is a... What does the citrus.sh look like? Does he have a... No. Okay, well, true echo percent bracket bar C percent. So this is like calling a color. Wow, that syntax is not not great. Okay, so we're gonna have to write a script in order to do this. So let's go back to four, five. No bars messing around with my. Eye. <laughs> I don't know what workspace I'm on. I'm freaking out. Okay, so we're gonna go into, um, we're just gonna touch script, BSP WM script. Actually, we we'll just call it bar script. Script dot uh, sh ch mod plus a plus x bar script dot sh. Okay, then bar script dot sh. Zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we need we need our shebang. So we need insert mode dollar pound sign exclamation point slash bin slash sh. Okay. Now, how was he doing this here? He just made this is way more work than I was expecting it to be. This is definitely not as good as Bumblebee. Uh, bar ended up using ended up being um, see the problem is I already have scripts that I want to use I don't want to have to rewrite them in one single script all right lemon bar is proving to be more work than I what I want to put into it so here's what I'm going to do we're gonna use polybar. That's what we're going to do is we're going to use polybar. Uh, so let's see here. We'll quit this out. We don't need that. We can delete this. And what we'll need to do is my polybar config. We need to, uh, let's see here. GitHub dot com slash mtbb forty seven mtwb forty seven and config. Uh, it's not on the front page anymore. It's uh, did I delete it? Oh, dot files done done. Here we go right here. So we need to copy and paste. This is going to take actually forever because this is a big file. CD downloads. Get things. Oops. Get clone. Yeah, this is going to take a bit. 
Okay, that finally did the thing it needed to do. Dot files, lstd.config, bspwm, um, polybar maybe? Yeah, it has its own polybar there. Let's do an ls here. So first we'll vim into this bspwmrc. And what we want to do is now this one here on the right started out as an Arco Linux bspwmrc file. So what I want to actually do here is chain is cut while I'm here, I might as well just go ahead and get the monitors up and running. So delete this and do insert bspc monitor this play port dash one dash d oops dash one dash d one two three four five okay and make sure I actually spell that wrong bsp bspc okay bspc monitor hdmi dash a dash one dash d six seven eight Nine, ten. Oops. Oh, what the hell? Hit something wrong. <laughs> Oops, not nineteen. Good lord, can't type with the damn. We'll save this and do super alt R. So if I do, went go to. Yeah. All right, that should work. All right, good. Good, good. All right. Now I need to do find out where the auto start things are. I think it should be up here at the top. Yeah, it's CD. Then the auto start file. And I'm actually going to do this right from here. So I'm going to do um, dollar sign home slash dot config slash bspwm make sure i can type polybar slash launch dot sh okay we'll save that now we need to get out of this here and do an ls make sure i'm in the right place so i need to cp dash r slash tilde slash dot config bspwm Okay. Missing destination folder. Oh, that's... I'm really dumb. There we go. I actually got to tell it what I want to copy, you know, instead of being a dumb person. There we go. Now we can close this. And do super mod... So mod alt R. And we have a polybar up there, but it's not... That is very weird. <laughs> uh, why would it do that? Why is it? I'm so confused because I don't. I don't know if you know if you can see this. There's like a there is a poly bar up there, and you can actually click on stuff. It's just not showing it. That's really weird. Okay, let's um. Cd into cd dot config polybar, oops, um, bspwm polybar ls vim config. Okay. Um, bspwm. This is showing up on both monitors. Width 100%, height 22. I'm wondering if it has, you want to, I know exactly what this is. I don't have, whatever font I'm using here, I don't have it installed. I have no, I have nerd fonts installed though. Pseudo pacman-sttf font. Awesome. I know this is already installed. Yeah, it's already installed. So font awesome is there. Nerd fonts are already installed, so it can't be the font. 
Okay. Well, back to troubleshooting. Let me get rid of this. Polybar appearing mostly off screen. No. No, that's not right. Polybar. Uh, not fully visible. My polybar is often completely invisible as seen here. Yes, that's exactly what mine's doing. This is from 2017, so we know it's probably been fixed. So I've used Polybar since then. Uh... It does look like it's a font problem. This is going to be the dumbest video I've ever posted. <laughs> yeah, I told you at the beginning, I warned you at the beginning that I had no clue what I'm doing. So, this is just me along for the ride. This is actually would have been a really good live stream. Um, Alright, you want to know what? Fine. We'll find the default uh, Arco install. So... So we can close this. We got. We know it's working. Oops. Damn. Close the wrong one. It doesn't matter. So CD slash um, CD slash Etsy. No. Hmm. Okay. So CD dot dot dash dot dot. We're going to the. We're going to root, and what we're going to do is we're going to do locate polybar. Okay, so what I'm looking for is the default Arco Linux one. That's what we're going to look for. Oh, it's in scale. I always, I, I should know that it's in scale. All right, so CD slash Etsy scale LS. Okay cd.config less so here's here's polybar right here somewhere yeah right here so what we're going to do is say screw this and say cp sudo cp actually I shouldn't need sudo cp dash r polybar tilde slash dot config bspwm and then yes Yes, yes to all. Okay, so that did some things. Like you can see a little bit more of it now. Um, I'm gonna try restarting BSPWM. No, that's uh, that's weird. All right, I've had enough of this. <laughs> um, hold on a second. We're not done with this yet. Okay, that still didn't work, but it was worth a try. Why I, if anybody knows why this is happening, let me know. Because the icons are appearing, you can see them. It's just like it's like it's the wrong resolution, and I'm zoomed in or zoom in or something. Um. All right. So what I'm gonna do before I sh I shut this off, I'm gonna log out and log back in and see if that fixes the problem. Then I'll sign out because I've had enough of this. <laughs> I, I, I've gotten to the point where I'm frustrated. So give me a second. Restarting worked. Okay. Why it worked, I don't know. Uh, but it definitely worked. So, um, yeah. I have a bar. And I have wallpaper. And I have BSPWM installed. So I would say today was overall a successful day. At times, frustrating. And definitely this was the longest video in the history of videos, not not really, but I mean, definitely history of my videos. Uh, I'll probably edit out some of the silences, but whatever. 
So, I like BSPWM. I'm going to play around with it for a little while just to give me some changes in terms of window managers because I like hopping every once in a while. And it's easier to hop window managers than hop distro because you can have them both installed at the same time. It's kind of awesome. I hope you will, I hope you enjoyed this because this was definitely frustrating for me. So, <laughs> so I hope it was less. I hope that you've taken something from this video in terms of, you know, what to do and what not to do. And if you even got one thing from it, I truly appreciate in everything. So please follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash linuxcast. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the linuxcast. I don't actually use those accounts all that much. Uh, Twitter more than Facebook. I don't have to, I don't think I've been to the Facebook page in ages. So whatever, I probably will stop even trying to use Facebook. Uh, you can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Starting in mid-March, we'll be doing all of our videos a day early for Tier 2 and Tier 3 patrons. Yeah, and speaking of patrons, let's thank our patrons. So, we I'd like to thank Devon C, Marcus B, and Mark M. We, so we have a new patron. Welcome, Mark. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right. Merrick? Mark? I apologize. Uh, I can't pronounce my own name half the time. So, that's just the way things are. So, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.